Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll solve a new problem in binary tree. So basically we are given a binary tree here and we are given a value. So let's say this value is sum. So now uh, let me explain you the problem in simple term. So here if you see from root to leaf we have three nodes. Basically we have three paths from root to leaf. One path is this one from this to here. One path is this one and one path is this one right so basically we have one path 2 7 2 then we have another path 2 7 6 11 we have another path 2 and 9 now we need to add all this all the sum or we have we need to add all the values from a particular root to leaf path so like in this case if I add all from root to leaf so in this case it matches to 11 now if you add this value so it basically matches to around 7 9 and 15 so this matches to 26 now if you add this path so it added 11 again now let's say if my given value is 12 right so it means this path is less than the given value also this path is also less than the given value now we need to remove all the elements which lies in this path right or in this branch so it means uh, if you see this two so let's say we have one more element here we have one more element here as uh, one right and my sum is 13 13 so now what would happen that uh, in this path what is this path so in this path my sum is 12 right and this path is 26 this path is 11 it means these branches this branch and this branch has less sum than the given value right so it means I need to remove these branches I need to remove this path completely so it means I need to remove this 2 and 1 and I need to remove this 9 so if you see my final my final binary tree should be something like this 2 7 6 and 11 because now I have removed this one and similarly I have removed this path as well right so this is my question that I need to remove all the element all the nodes or all the branches all the paths where if you add all the values then it doesn't or uh, it doesn't accumulate to this much value right so it means what are the important thing that we need to take care in this problem right so basically we start from the root node that's for sure now we need to reach the leaf node because if you reach the leaf node then only you can know that what is the what is the sum of all the values right it means the first important point is that you need to reach till leaf value now another important point is that you need to add all the values in that path right so it means let's say if we have this path so this is one path this is another path this is another path it means you need to add all the values in this path then only you can check that whether the whether what is the sum of all the values in this path and then only you can check that whether this value is greater than or equal to this given value and if this value is less than this one then we need to remove that path right it means the another another thing is that we need to add all the values all the values in that path so it means add all the values add all values in that path right so now how can you check leaf node that's easy because we can check that whether if node of left and node of right both are null then that is leaf node now how would you add all the values from root to leaf so uh, what we can do that starting that at the starting I will take is sum equal to 0 so let's say this is s equal to 0 and whenever I am iterating on any particular node so I will keep on adding the value right so let's say uh, recursively if I go recursively if I go left and right and if if the node is not leaf node it means I need to simply add that value right so basically what I can do at the starting my value is 0 now when I am when I am checking this one so whether this is leaf node no it means recursively again go left and then add that value so now 0 plus 2 again this is leaf node no it means send that value into into recursion and again go here now again check this is leaf node no so again add the value now you check this is leaf node right so what you do you basically add the value first of all then you check that whether this value this sum if the value is less than this one this sum value so if so what is the sum the sum is 12 
right now you check that if this value is less than this one so yes in this case because 12 is less than 13 it means we need to remove this element we need to remove this node so what i would do that this is leaf node right and i am operating for this one as of now so if so if this sum is less than this sum it means i need to remove null because now i need to remove the, i need to remove this branch so i would start from this one right so i would return null so when i would return null so now that the left of two is null right again again what i will do because this is again leaf node because earlier it wasn't leaf node because the one was pointing to because one was in left but now it is leaf node right so now this two is also become leaf node so it means this is again leaf node so again we'll check that if it is a leaf node then check that if the sum of this one so now what is the sum of till here so sum of sum of till here is 11 it means again this sum is less than this sum it means again this will return null right so now my my problem is that so now it has changed to that now basically this binary tree has changed to something like this that here we have null and here we have 6 11 and here i have 9 right so now what what would happen that the left thing it has covered now it will go in right direction so it means right direction means my sum is it will be 6 because 2 and 7 which was earlier now it will add this 6 and uh, this is not leaf node so again it will go in left direction and right right direction it will add 11 so now this is leaf node so it will check what is the sum so sum is 26 so this will check that whether this sum is less than this sum no this is the s is not less than sum it means it won't do it won't send return it won't return null it will basically return the node right so it won't do anything it will basically completely return this completely node now this will go here now it will operate this one so when it will reach here again it will add the sum so it, it is 2 plus 9 so my sum is 11 it means 11 is less than 13 it means this will also return null so finally my tree would be something like this right now let me also show you through code so that you can also get it better what i'm trying to explain so this is my binary tree right and here i have function remove all nodes if some greater than k now i'm passing the root node i'm passing the i'm passing the value so like uh, my value is 13 in this case and my this is my level right so basically this is the sum starting so at the starting my sum is zero right so this will call this function if you see so this is k so k is basically the sum that will so here this sum we are considering as k right if you want then uh, you can basically take it as a sum as well because this is a value with we need to check right so le let it remain as k so now if our node is null it means we can simply return node right or we need to or we don't need to do anything or we can return null as well now we'll solve this in post order manner and uh, we'll what we'll do whenever if whenever we are going left then we are adding the node value in that sum right so because at the starting my sum is zero so it will basically it will basically keep on adding the value whenever we are going left and right so this is how we'll maintain the value we'll maintain the sum for a particular path right so it will add some uh, s plus node of data similarly whenever we are going right we are adding the node of data into this sum right and after that after solving this so what will happen that when it will uh, when it will be because we are doing in post order manner so once it will reach the last index so last index in that path that will be the leaf node so now we are checking if node of left equal to null and node of right equal to null then this is leaf node now at this moment i need to check if s plus node data is less than k right so if this value is less than k it means i need to remove this node so what i can do i can return the null right so that is very important point that if it is a leaf node and if your value in this sum if, if the value in the complete path is less than k then i need to return null so this is how it will return null and if it is not the case then it will return node 
right so at the at the last we'll get we'll get our solution through that manner right so this was the region this was the region that when when we added the path so in this case in this case our sum value was less than this sum so this is why it returned the null right and because we are solving in post order manner so earlier my node was this one after that my node will be this one so when it will check for this one this value is again less than sum so this for this also it will return null so this is how this complete branch will get nullify right so this is the way we can remove all the elements if our if our if our addition of all the values is less than the given value right and if you talk about the time complexity so basically we are iterating the we are recursively uh, traversing the complete binary tree it means we are traversing the all the nodes of binary tree so our time complexity will be big of n right and if you talk about the space complexity so what we are doing as such we are not using any space so our space complexity will be big of n so though we are using recursion so if you consider the system mistake then you can say that we will be using the n space right so this is about the system stick because why system because we are recurs we are using recursion so that is why we are saying a system stick but if you taking about the program space so we are not using any extra space right so uh, that's it guys about this video we have seen completely about the logic code and complexities and guys i will also put the source code into description section so if you if you have uh, if you want then you can also get it from there so friends if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such video thank you